Hey everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today we're gonna make something a little different. We're making super soft sugar cookies. So my name is Kristen. And I'm Kendra. And first of all, I'm so happy to have and other sisters with me on the YouTube channel. So <laughs> this is going to be happening every week now. We'll have sisters join in on the videos. Oh, we're gonna guest star your host. Know. <laughs> so usually I share Instant Pot recipes, but we've changed it up a little bit and we're gonna start sharing other recipes other than Instant Pot. So all the things. All the things. All the family favorites. So we actually have a website called sixsisterstuff.com and we have many, thousands, thousands. we're talking thousands of <laughs> recipes there. So we like, simple, easy recipes, it's kind of to make everyone's lives a little bit easier. And we are all moms and we all have kids and so we know how busy and crazy life can get. And so we're all about quick, efficient, but also we like it delicious. So that's yes. what we're all about here that's at Six Sisters. The most important thing. <laughs> I need to taste good. <laughs> all right, so today we're gonna make super soft sugar cookies. Now mm. this actually is one of the most popular recipes on our site because it tastes so good. And so. you can make them all year round, any holidays, any cookie cutter shape, all year round cookie. Nice. It's like a chocolate chip cookie, but better. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I could eat them all year round. <laughs> awesome. Okay, you wanna get started? You wanna? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna start with our butter, and you okay. need three fourths cup of softened butter. I hope you Now, here. I always. So I don't take my butter out until like last minute Me from the too. fridge and it's always hard, hard and the consistency is bad. Exactly. So my trick I found when I'm trying to soften my butter is I'll, if I don't take it out ahead of time, okay. I cut it up into little tablespoon marks and Ooh. then microwave it for seven second intervals, stir it, and it will just slowly soften with each seven second interval. Really? And it gets to this consistency. Okay. So if you're like me and you're like a last minute cooker, oh my gosh. or baker, I guess, we're baking today. Yes. Then that's how you do it. I love it, I yeah. love it. So okay. we've got our butter and then we're gonna add our two eggs. Do you wanna crack the eggs? Yes, ma'am. And then Watch. two. I'll get shells in this. <laughs> <laughs> two eggs, we're also going to add our sugar. Okay. And our mom is, she is hardcore in the kitchen and she is dedicated to a wooden spoon. But I'm just not as strong as her, so I always do the electric hand mixer. So you can make this in a KitchenAid, a Bosch, or with a hand mixer, or go old school oh, with the wooden spoon. spoon. <laughs> there we go. Do you care if I mix this up? Go for it. Awesome. Woo. All right, so what's the texture you want? So it's okay if it has a few little butter lumps in it. You're not gonna get them all out. You'll get those out when you add the flour. Oh, okay, okay. So you just want it kind of creamy, kind of frothy. It's looking good. Nice. But if it's not all the way smooth, don't stress it because it will it'll work its way out when you add the flour. Awesome. So just keep stirring. You can do this for about like a minute. Okay, 30 seconds or so. You tell me when to stop. That looks good. Okay, we're gonna stop. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to add our flour. flour. Okay, how much flour do you have here? This is two and a half cups okay. of flour. Two and a half. And then, do you want to mix that in? Yes. And then while you're mixing that in, we have some salt. Okay, you just, just want to throw it in there teaspoon. too? Just a half teaspoon, yep. Awesome. I just don't want it to like flour explode, <laughs> so <laughs> and we're going to kind of mix here a little bit. Celebration in exactly. here. Exactly. Flour confetti. All right. Okay, and then, and oh, then I'm going to add the vanilla too. There we go. And the vanilla is three teaspoons of vanilla. Okay, when I first saw that, I'm like, oh, I that's know. a lot. But I think that's what gives it that mm -hmm. vanilla taste it's to it. It's so yummy. I so I'm just it. gonna add three teaspoons of vanilla. Okay. And this is vanilla extract, not pure vanilla. What do you use, pure vanilla or vanilla extract? You know, it kind of depends on whatever I feel like at the store. <laughs> I switch it off. Okay, whatever's but on sale. I know but. some of you have <laughs> said, no, you need to use just pure vanilla, but I'm curious, what are your opinions? I vanilla know. extract, pure vanilla. Do I need to switch because I'm on the vanilla extract train? I am too. And I'm taking it. I am too. <laughs> okay, what okay, else we got there? So I'm gonna add our baking powder. Okay. And this is two teaspoons. Okay. Okay, mix her okay all up. I go? Go all for right. it. Oh, it's not as strong as it was. <laughs> so I don't know how she does it with the wooden spoon. I really <laughs> don't know. 
in okay. all the there. All right, how's that looking? That's looking good. All right. Okay, and then the secret part to this recipe okay, is ready? to refrigerate your cookie dough. Ah, okay. Okay. So we're gonna take this off. We'll clear yep. out these, and then Kay. we'll stick in the refrigerator for how long? Um, about an hour, or you could do the freezer for like 20, 25 minutes. Ooh, but okay. fridge, we're all about the fridge. Okay, deal. Okay, so our dough has been refrigerated. Yes. And I mean, look at that texture. I know, that's I love good it. texture. Exactly. Um, so I just kind of put it in a little ball, and then we're gonna flatten it out. But first, you gotta flour your surface so it doesn't stick to anything. I remember so, mom doing this when we were little. I know. It was like my favorite thing. I, I know. Just, I loved it. Our mom was always cook sugar cookies, whether mm -hmm. it was, we always had them at Halloween, at Christmas time, at Valentine's. Easter, oh, yeah. decorating eggs, frosting Oh my them. gosh, I remember. And they made the best after school snack. There is no better <laughs> scent coming home to than like fresh warm Right, you open sugar the door cookies. and you're like, oh, yes. Oh my gosh, my favorite. All right. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little flour on this too, just to keep it from sticking. Do you wanna roll her out? Sure. Okay, okay, roll her on out. All right, we're gonna roll it, roll it. Roll it, roll it. Okay, so my question is how thick do you want these cookies? Depends. How thick do you want them? <laughs> <laughs> I like mine just right. I don't like them like thin, crisp little chips, yes. but I don't want them like too Super thick, thick. That it's too much dry. Okay, what about this? So Is this that's okay? Good. Like, what would you say? Fourth cent half a centimeter? Half a cent sure. Yeah. Sure. It's not gonna be a thin crisp. That's yeah, that's no. the most important. <laughs> and they'll puff up a little when you bake them too. Yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna cut these into the we're using circles, but again, you can use any shape for any holiday, any reason, any bridal shower, wedding shower, baby shower, I, all the things. Just reminds me of like Halloween sugar cookies, mm -hmm. Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, you can tell we're sisters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we have a love for Christmas. <laughs> okay. Nice, right, stick there. So put them on, and then we'll roll this out and do a few more. We could probably make like three, three more, more cookies with this. All right, so while you roll it out, okay. I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about one of our cookbooks. Now, of course, you know me for like the Instant Pot, but on the other end, on our blog end, we actually have, I mean, lots of recipes, but we also have seven published cookbooks out, and this one is one of my favorites because mm -hmm. obviously, the it's holidays. Christmas, yes. <laughs> 12 Days of Christmas from Six Sister Stuff, and it has tons of Christmas recipes. Now, this recipe that we're making, we're mm -hmm. act it's actually in the book, and it's just one of our favorites. Yep. So it has all kinds of recipes, and just to show you some, like all kinds of cookie all recipes. We have a Christmas morning breakfast ideas. Christmas dinner, we have hands. <sighs> Um, I forgot. Salmon dishes, drinks. I mean, all kinds of, Anything of delicious things. Oh, we also have some pretty fun crafts too, yeah. which are so funny just for things to do mm -hmm. when kids are out of school and they're kind of driving yeah. you crazy. <laughs> just give them some fun ideas. Of we things, also so. have all of our favorite family holiday traditions in that book. Oh, yeah. And we have a lot of family <laughs> traditions. Especially around Christmas. Especially like, well, after Halloween, it's like tradition time. We it have is. so much going on and it's all in that book. So if you need new family tradition ideas, check out the book because have you told them about crazy dinner yet? Not yet. It's our favorite family tradition, and I think your family's gonna love it too. Yeah. We'll put a link in the description for you guys so you can find the book there, and all of our other books too. All right, how's okay. the sugar cookies? Good. Good, we got six on. Now usually when our mom makes sugar cookies, she will load the pan, like. With all shapes, all, all shapes. different cookies. So we're just gonna do six today just to show you how to make it. So, yep. so this is gonna go in the oven at 350 degrees mm -hmm. for about 10 minutes. But yep. wanna make sure you watch them because if they're starting to get brown on top, yeah. pull them out quick because if they're brown on top, they're not gonna be good. Yeah. So. I'd start watching them at like eight minutes. Yeah, great idea. Kay. All right. All right. Hey, they're all done. Cookies, cookies are done. Okay, just wanna show you the bottom of them oh, real yeah. quick. So they're not brown. This is how we like our sugar yeah. cookies because that means they're super soft inside. Yep. So And they are cooked through. So yes. Don't let them fool yes. You. you don't want doughy, no. doughy cookies. Okay, <laughs> so now it's time for the fun part. We get to frost them. Um, in the cookbook, we have a really cute idea. It's actually on the front cover. Let's see if you can see here. Little Santa Little sugar cookies. Mm -hmm. But you can do any type of color of frosting or toppings. My personal favorite sugar cookie topping is M&M's. I don't know why the combination really? of chocolate and frosting and these cookies go so well. I don't know. Do. What's I yours? Don't. 
Um, Don't say sprinkles. No. <laughs> Like I like a little bit of sprinkles, yeah. but not a ton yeah. of sprinkles. I get that. Yeah, I think I like, okay, don't judge me here. I like hope. peanut butter and chocolate frosting and. Peanut, I've never had peanut butter frosting with, on a cookie. Oh my gosh. It will change your life. Or Nutella, mm -hmm. yeah, I Next know. Next time, that's what we're making. Okay. <laughs> peanut butter frosting. <laughs> okay. okay, so this is actually our mom's special sugar cookie yes. frosting recipe and we're gonna put a link in the description so we showed you how to make the cookies but if you want to learn how to do the frosting you can just go to that link and it, it'll be a lot easier to follow the written instructions so yeah but we're making them fun and festive mm -hmm. so we're gonna add the white frosting with cute red sprinkles you care if I sprinkle you up sprinkle oh sorry you're good I need to work on my frosting game Yes, you do. <laughs> I would never survive in a bakery. <laughs> All right, you guys. So if you want more recipes like this, we have tons of Christmas recipes. Mm -hmm. You can find them on our website at oh. sixsisterstuff.com. Okay, but you never told us your favorite topping. You told us your favorite frosting, but what's your favorite it's topping? Because sugar, you just needed frosting and sugar cookies. That's no, the topping. You need something on it. I like to make them cute. Does that count? <laughs> that counts. We'll okay. take it. <laughs> All right. So this is one of our favorite traditions, like Christmas traditions. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious what one of your favorite traditions are. All right, guys. That is all we have for you today. We will see you next week. Bye. <laughs>